Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Citizen, I'm warning you. The Imperial business. Be on your way. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Citizen, I'm warned. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone! you're not planning any trouble what can I do for you friend you need something to do or you just enjoy slowing down Welcome. the hard-working I'm the owner and proprietor of if you need to sample eatery. some of the finest mead in Skyrim you're in the right place 
If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sabjorn. If you want to buy something, go find Sabjorn. Otherwise, piss off. Hunting bro We may be small, but what we lack in size, we make up for in quality. Take a look. Take a look. Uh, until next time. To tell you the truth, Sabjorn isn't much of an owner. Slave driver, sure. Blackbriar mead is just fine. If you need something to wash the dirt off a riding horse's I've never boots. met someone like him that revels so much in others' misery. Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons? World gone mad, I say. run off. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Hmm? Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Ysgrimor. This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Kodlak advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Kodlak Whitemane up at your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Need something? Need a ride? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. 
We want to be careful, dear. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the bannered mare or the castle steward. All right, then. What do you need? Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Aufsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like. Once she's yours. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Then come back when you've got that much. Ride strong. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. No lollygagging. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since you've had a good bandit raid. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Jorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. 
they want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Grey Main or Battleborn? Then I say, well met, friend. I can tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. Long live the Empire. Need a blade? We should talk to Adrian at the forge. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. That Stormcloak armor's getting on my nerves. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgrath is not receiving visitors. Who's this then? As House Karl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? Hmm. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this... What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the that dragon is lurking in the mountains... We'll do that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. 
Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords. Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlord. Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Valgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the Hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. 
I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Everything all right? Need supplies? See Bellathor at his store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stock. You tried mercenary work? That might suit you. Disrespect the law and you Thank disrespect you. me. I can't afford to send anyone else. We don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves, but I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a waste. And what might you need, hmm? I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife, so you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet anyway. Balgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. I've got my eyes on you. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid.
sons of Eltra are more and more each day. I feel the same. I do not think Arjit were made for the cold. Not only that, but these Nords have no love for us. They look upon us and see only thieves and smugglers. It is a pity, but it cannot be helped. Perhaps if we continue to show that we can be trusted, they will open their cities to our caravans. <laughs> I wish that I had your optimism. Many fine things are here for you, friend. Do you seek to make a purchase? Warm sands, friend. How may this one serve you? The road makes this one weary. The Khajiit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Take a look. Your road lead you to warm sands.